Hey guys, and welcome back to our vacation school, vacation Bible school yoga class. Um, so whenever you're ready, we'll we'll get started. So go ahead and come to your mat, come to your area, and shake it out. Shake it out, let all of those vibes go, let all of those shakes go, and then when you're ready, make your way into your seat, rocking side to side, binding those sitting bones, those, remember those two hard bones under our butts, under our glute muscles, and once you have moved your glutes out from under you and you have those sitting bones sitting into your mat, let your knees just fall open and do one last little shake. So shake it out, let everything go, and then when you're ready, start to come to some stillness. Remember, we're trying to create this sort of fun place with our breath. So bringing our hands into our laps, maybe somewhere on our leg, and just really kind of relaxing. Ananda, our kitty, has decided that she wants to be the star of the show today, but that's not going to keep us from creating this fun space with our breath. So take a few inhales and exhales with me, maybe keeping your eyes open or maybe even closing your eyes and seeing if you can see all of those fun colors sort of swimming around behind your closed eyelids and just taking a few inhales, filling yourself up as much as you can and then exhale, letting it go, sending all of that breath into the air around you. And then do that one more time. Take one big inhale, fill yourself up as best as you can, and then exhale, let it go. Send it out into the world around you, and then we'll take our three breaths together. So as we take our first inhale, we are going to think in our mind with an open heart, and then with our exhale, we are going to say, I am present to the spirit within and around me. So inhale with an open heart. Exhale, I am present to the spirit within and around me. Inhale with an open heart. Exhale, I am present to the spirit within and around me. Inhale with an open heart. Exhale, <clears throat> exhale, I am present to the spirit within and around me. Taking one more big inhale together and then exhale, bringing our hands to the mat and pushing ourselves up into our Tadasana. So standing on our feet, looking to the front of the mat, really sinking down into your feet and then bringing your hands to heart center. So our hands are at heart center. We're sinking down as much as we can into our feet. Really feel the weight of your body sinking into your mat or your towel, whatever it may be that you're using today. And then with hands at heart center, feel your left hand just gently pushing into the right and feel your right hand just gently pushing into the left. Standing up nice and tall here in our mountain pose, pose. where we can feel strength. And in our Tadasana, our mountain pose, where we can feel unshakable. We'll take one more inhale here in this strength of this pose. And then exhale, bring our hands to our sides. Inhale, reach them tall, stretch for your ceiling. And then exhale, come down into our forward fold. So let your chest start to sink low. Rise your hips high, wiggle your hips to the ceiling as you fold down into our forward fold or Utasana. Taking a big exhale here and then inhale, rising to our halfway lift, our Urda Utasana. So heart is shining forward, shoulders are in one line in front of the hips and take a big inhale here and prepare and focus your eyes forward. And then as you exhale, Fold back down, exhale, send everything out, and then inhale, rise all the way up, reach up, stretch up, maybe even look up, touch your ceiling, and then exhale, bring your hands to heart center, and then bring them to your hips. So before moving any further, we're going to kind of talk about some directions. So. Where we're currently facing is going to be the front of the room. What is behind us is the back of the room. And then of course, 
our right arm is going to reach out to the right and then our left arm reaches out to the left. So we're just going to keep those in mind as we start to move through these next couple of floats. Go ahead and turn your body to the right. Come to stand in the middle of your mat. You are now facing the right side of your room. So the front of the room, your left hand reaches for, and then the back of the room, your right hand is reaching for. So we are now going to jump our feet a little bit wider than our shoulders. So bend your knees and then jump the feet a little bit wider. And then we have, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we have our nice wide stance. So now we're going to pick up our right toes off the mat and turn them to face the back of the room. So we have our wide stance, our right toes are facing the back of the room, and now we're going to bend our right knee over our right ankle, keep our hips over our shoulders, and hips and our shoulders are facing the right side of the room, the left toes are facing the right side of the room, and we're sinking down through that left foot. We're bending down through our right knee and sinking into the right knee. And then on an inhale, bring your arms to a T. So inhale, reach the right hand to the back of the room, reach the left hand to the front of the room, and then start to, start to move to the back of the room. So start to reach your right hand to touch the back of the room. Obviously, it might not completely touch, just move in that direction, and then bend your elbow and place it on that right knee. And then bring your left hand to reach for the ceiling and then just reach it to the back of the room. So reach those left fingertips to reach for the back of the room. We are now in side angle, extended side angle. Our Utita Parsvo Tunasana. And in this pose, the spirit stretches us into new flexibility. So take one more big inhale, reach that left hand to the back of the room, find some stretch, find some new flexibility, and then exhale, rise yourself all the way back up, reaching the hands to the front and the back of the room, hips over shoulders. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna straighten our right leg. We're just gonna straighten a little bit. So just see if you can keep a little, little itty bitty micro bend in your knee. Keeping a little itty bitty micro bend in the knee. We bring our hands back to that T if they have moved. And we're going to move into our triangle pose. Our Utita Trikonasana. So how we move into this pose. Again, hands are reaching out. We're going to just how we did into our extended side angle. We're going to reach those right fingers to the back of the room. And then staying exactly where we are, just let that right hand kind of fall to your leg. Just rest it on the front of the leg. And then inhale, reach your left hand to the ceiling. So we'll reach the left fingertips to the ceiling and then exhale here. And know that when we were when we are in this pose, we are open and flexible. And when we are open and flexible, we see the world in a new way. So take one more big inhale, see the world in a new way. Exhale, start to bend that right knee and rise all the way back up. So now we're going to move into pyramid pose. So how we move into this pose is we shorten our stance. So turn the heel of that left foot in and then the right, and then turn the toes in. Turn the heel in, turn the toes in, and then face your whole body to the back of the room. So both toes are facing the back of the room, the hips, the shoulders, and the gaze are facing the back of the room. Take a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, trace your fingers down the ceiling down the wall behind you, sink down into that back foot, keep the front leg straight as you fold all the way down, reach your fingers to the floor, feel that stretch through that front leg. Take an inhale, pull your heart forward, exhale here. And then bend that knee, that front right knee, inhale, rise all the way up, reach up, Stretch up, exhale, step both feet together at the back of your mat. Bring hands to heart center. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Turn to face the right side of your room. Take an inhale here. Exhale, jump your feet wide. Coming into our wide stance, we're going to move on to the next side. So we are now going to turn our left toes to face the front of the room. Still sinking down through our right back foot, we're going to bend into that left knee. 
keeping the shoulders and the hips still facing the right wall. We're sinking down into this foot and then inhale, reach the arms to a T. Take an exhale here, inhale, pull those left fingertips to the front wall and then exhale, bend that left elbow onto the left knee. Reach the right hand to the ceiling and then reach it to the front of the room. Reach your arm to the, reach the right arm to the wall in front of you and then exhale, sink into your front foot and down that back foot. And here in this pose, know that the spirit is stretching and opening us into new flexibility. So take one more big inhale here in this flexibility and then exhale, pull yourself all the way back up, stack your shoulders over your hips, reach the left hand forward, reach the right hand back and start to straighten your left leg. So straighten that front leg. Send the hips to the wall behind you. As you send the shoulders to the wall in front of you, reach the arms forward. So we're, again, we're coming into our triangle pose. Are you, you Tita Trikonasana? We're gonna drop the left hand just to rest it in front of the thigh and then pull the right hand to reach for the ceiling. Take a big inhale, sink down through both feet. Really keep the shoulder pulling forward and exhale here for a moment. Remembering that here in this pose, we are open and flexible. And when we are open and flexible, we are able to see the world in a new way. So take one more inhale, see the world in a new way. Exhale, start to bend that left leg, rise all the way back up, shoulders over hips. And then moving into our pyramid pose, we're gonna shorten our stance. So turn the heel in, turn the toes in, turn the heel in, turn the toes in, really shorten your stance and then turn those right toes to face the, the front of the room, turn the hips to face the front of the room, shoulders face the front of the room. Inhale, reach the hands to the ceiling. Exhale, trace your hands down the ceiling, down the wall in front of you and fold all the way down. Maybe your hands find the mat, maybe they rest gently on your leg. As we take an inhale here, in our Parsvo Tunasana, our pyramid pose. Take a big inhale. Exhale, start to bend that left knee. Rise all the way up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, step everything forward to the front of the mat, bringing your hands to heart center and closing the eyes. Taking a big inhale together. Exhale, gently pulling our chin to our chest. Taking a bow in our head as we say namaste as we remember that the light in me and the light in you sees and honors the light in everyone around you and that light makes us one with each other and one with god namaste